Fred from Radio from the Venice Festival. I'm Angela Cherby and I'm here connected with Ivan Ikic, the director of Oasis. Good morning, Ivan. Good morning. Your film is included in the Giornata dell'Autore selection and it's a touching and very real story about um, three kids, well, young, not kids, three adolescents yeah. who lives in an institution for mental disabled people that uh, built up a very strong link, emotional and personal link, and they tried to survive this situation inside the specific institution. This, I know that this story came to you not, uh, you, you did not invent it, it was something that you, that, that you saw, is it? That you experienced? Yeah, uh, it comes from my work as a documentarist, back in the early 2000s when i first come to this that institution shooting a one documentary uh, and uh, when i heard the, the the story about uh three people uh connected in destiny you know <laughs> in the in the sit in the in the institution like that one you know so uh, that, that 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 was the like the initial idea I had to to make the fiction film out of it, but I didn't know it back in the day how to do it, you know, because it was very like uh, it it could uh, it could have many uh, different approaches, and I could not uh, define in that time what the story should be about. Mm -hmm. And it needs like 15 years to, to get <laughs> know <laughs> what I what I really want to tell you needed, with that you, story. You needed time to think, to metabolize it, to think about yeah, it. Yeah, to yeah, build yeah. It yeah. Up. I, I, I believe in slow cinema in every mm -hmm. aspect of cinema, not just <laughs> like slow cinema in the in the final products, uh, like slow cinema in the preparation, slow cinema in the thinking about idea in <laughs> yeah. the writing and so on. So and you then, need like 20 years to make a film. <laughs> well, well, you know, if this, are, if this is your timing, why not? I mean, yeah. there is no, there, there, are, there are no rules in, yeah. on this. But at the end of the day, what you, you managed to do a film that is so realistic and, and uh, intense because you actually sh shot it in, in that mental institution. Yep. And the actors are not actors, are actually um, yeah, they're residents patient, of it. resident patients of it. Yeah, so. yeah residents. So, um, uh, also, one of my an initial idea was to, to choose the real residents of the institution uh, to play in the film, but not to play themselves. I wanted to play the, the, the characters I wrote before in the script. So I was trying to, to, to somehow to experiment with the idea that uh, uh, they can play the different uh, people, different characters in the film, not themselves. Because I feel that playing themselves was very easy target. You know, you, you can watch it every day in the, the, the film. But yeah. playing the other people, with uh, 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 playing the other people from the position that you are uh, perceived uh, uh, from the society as incapable of doing many things, so mm -hmm. you are uh, handicapped. Yeah, so yeah. I wanted to show that maybe that handicap is not handicap at all. So and how did you? Maybe how it's did advance, you? you know. Yeah. <laughs> It's a plus, it's not a minus. It's a plus, not a minus, you know. So that, that was my initial idea when I start to work with the residents of the institution, uh, uh, making them actors, you know. And how did you transform them into actors? Which was the process? And that was a very long process, actually. <laughs> it, it takes you a lot of time, like almost a year that process takes. But you start with, uh, with uh, the, some basic ideas about acting, about some basic techniques developed like 
back in the end of the 19th century with Stanislavski, you know, and the, you know, you, you use the same, the same method actually, but you need to re, uh, uh, renew them, you know, to think differently how to uh, apply it for the, for the very sensitive situation uh, because it, uh, it's, uh, it's happening in the institution it's about people with intellectual disabilities so you need to be very like careful uh and very uh, very like uh, uh very uh you need you need to, to all the time you need to to hear the feedback from them you know you you, you cannot go like i'm the director and i will tell you what to do what, what to do you know, you need exactly. all to, uh. yeah you need the old time you need the, you need exchange you know you very it's very touchy you know to 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 work uh, in such uh, conditions, you know. Were there many things that you have to change or to adapt to them? From yeah, not too many. Not I, too many. Well, maybe maybe I like ninety percent of the script is in the film, but the film was a uh, 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 the first cut was uh, two and a half hour long. <laughs> so like uh, because you like slow out, cinema, this like is twenty percent. <laughs> yeah, it's very slow cinema. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, but people have no the, the, the perception that it's slow at all. So like many things happen in the film. So no, like, yeah, yeah, the time, yeah, it's two hour film, but you feel that it's going like very. No, it's very really slow. it's really actually extraordinary knowing that they are not actors that you manage to be so good because they are so good. Yeah. No, they, because they are yeah. not playing. They are partially playing themselves, but they also have to invent to make yeah. up a new character. So it's what, yeah. it was... And the characters were completely opposite to the, to the real characters. The main, uh, the main uh, male role, the, 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 the boy, mm -hmm. he, he is quite cheerful in the real life and he's silent and uh, silent still and, most yeah, of the film, and... you know. And he's completely opposite character in the real life. So for him, it was a challenge to do that, you know. Did yeah. they? Did they? Did they watch the film? The three actors? Uh, not yet, yeah, unfortunately. Not yet. Yeah, they they should watch it first time in Venice. You know, they they show many. They they saw many scenes. You know, because we uh, we edit uh, while we are shooting. Many like to to be to have some idea where are we in the film you know mm -hmm. it was not uh, like final cut it was like putting the scenes together to see is it working or not oh, wow. like and uh, like like uh, in the old time when you work with the dailies you know so you, you have you need to after the shooting you, you, you the, the whole crew is watching what you shoot that day you know and it yeah. had the same experience every day so after every day of shooting we watched like scenes we did that day together so they mm -hmm. saw the film but nice. not in the this uh this uh, final cut yeah and which is a relationship that you built with them because you were like one ex one representative of the world outside going into their world trying yeah. to make them do things and their relationship with the world outside is not exactly soft and easy yeah so how was the relationship between you and them? You need like a lot of time to build it because uh, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, you need days and days to be present there, to know them uh, very good and to get the, 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 uh, the open door of their uh, uh, inside uh, life you know mm -hmm. so it, it was it started almost two years before shooting we are starting to go, to go there my assistant and I and uh, we were present for most of the time there and they I mean they get know us you know uh, very well during the, 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 the period of time and we build some kind of 
strong uh, mutual uh, some trust i believe too trust in, yeah trust yeah, is a good word trust, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. trust yeah it's mutual trust and uh, and after that uh, the other people from the crew uh, when they when they come to institution just before the shooting uh, they they were uh, like uh, also very well uh, perceived by them you know because they feel that it, it's safe you know it's mm -hmm. not some kind of uh, we are not intruders you know no, we are, no you were we you are, were kind of helpers because you, you yeah we are, you we are there you know stuff yeah. and you know we are only people for most of them they know in the life outside of institutions so I like, believe I, I think yeah. So. yeah so we are like right now it's very tough time for all of them because uh, uh it's very strict uh, to leave uh, the institution during the covid and so yeah, on it, the institution is closed and it has their own measures and uh, the 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 people are not allowed to get in during the the, the epidemics and so mm -hmm. on so it's very like even more harsher than it was uh, last year when we shot the AI. So we, we, we haven't seen each other from the March. So we okay. are uh, we are uh, communicating over the Facebook and Instagram all the time, but we, we haven't seen each other in person. Well, even I thank you a lot, both for the, your time with us here and for the film, because the film is really it's really touching and really compelling. So it's, and now knowing all of this that you just told us is even more astonishing. So congratulations. Thank you. And thanks a lot to Ivan Ikic, the director of Oasis, which is showing at the Giornata degli Autori here in Venice at the International Film Festival. I am Angelo Cerbi for Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.